I don't know guys how long Blue Demon is gonna stay with me but uh, one of these days it's gonna have to go it's gonna be sad I'm so used to it it's a very nice vehicle I was trying to get into a four cylinder car small car I went and tried and test them they are used to low for me I need to stay on, into the four wheel drive but, uh, I went and test a uh, Toyota RAV4 stick. I mean, I just don't like it. But uh, I got something that is gonna it's gonna be pretty good for me on gas. I'm gonna keep it just as it is. I don't think so. And it's coming right there. It has a uh, very small issues that I need to fix. <laughs> Uh, it's stuck on a four wheel drive you big or four high yeah this is my next vehicle alright guys so this truck like I mentioned before he had some issues I'm sorry that I didn't record what was going on so still I don't fix it but I figured it out so when you open the switch then you try to now it works well anyways i couldn't take the key out it was stuck right there but uh he told me to push this i'm leaning this way so it was this this little thing right here so it works like a switch so that pin was supposed to when you put it in park it was supposed to pull this this thing up and that release the key so you know it's a 21 year old vehicle so of course i was in i was supposed to expect some kind of problems with it also it has a cv radio go uh, figure look at that oh Got look him. at that uh, same thing with the radio it's a nice radio but uh, they have a lot of wire knots and shit like that oh my gosh so just all this that. is gonna be fixable of course the digital climate control it works but all the lights are out except the uh the screen so i'm gonna try to fix all that look at this shit it's all loose uh what else we see here there is a led bar in the front let me try to turn out this this thing stays on all the time <laughs> it's a cheap led bar it does the job but it's not as good as you know expensive one i mean this led bar maybe does whatever a high beam can do i believe it's a 20 inch i'm gonna sell that thing and i'm gonna i'm gonna be redoing all this stuff i wasn't expecting that uh rear differential locking i was so lucky with this and i'm so happy hell yeah but uh going with all this yeah i'm gonna be fixing and cleaning and doing this and that I'm the type of guy, I like my cars running as best they can. All right, so this is the next day after the purchase. So this is how it looks from outside. I mean, the paint in the front, that's, you know, normal on the highway vehicles. It's not so bad. Look really good. Got yeah. some scratches because the guy took it off road a few, a few times. Uh, looks like he's missing a part right there. This is how it looks on the back. Of course, a limited edition for wheel drive. Tires, they are almost brand new. And uh, like I say, it has some scratches. But, uh, but I don't think it's a big problem, you know, for the age. I mean, I don't care so much, it's an old vehicle. So I'm gonna be using it for work. It's gonna re replace my Lexus. It has a LED bar here on the front. It's a cheap LED bar. So that's gonna be coming out. It has LEDs right there. They work pretty good. I like them. It has some rock lights that change color. Those are coming out. I don't like those things. So I was trying to figure it out because the guy said he took it a few times off road. So it looks like he got stuck 
because everything is dirty and uh, when I purchased it I didn't check the uh, the air filter is brand new so I didn't check it when I was purchasing it so it looks like oh, oh, would you look at this uh, oh would you look at that oh, look, look at that what an idiot there. would you look at this oh look at that look at that motor feels good it drives good uh, they changed the oil I guess after this because the oil is brand new they changed the alternator so I guess he got the issues after getting stuck looks like because it's brand freaking new he told me about it uh what else i mean the truck starts really good oh the main thing about the four runners is the frames i mean there is no rust on this thing i crawl underneath i have my flashlight with me i mean there is no rust in this thing no rust all that is just dirt i'm gonna be washing it so let me start it up that's the Lexus key. <laughs> oh, by the way, I didn't even know this thing has a rear differential locking. So when he posted, he didn't mention about it. I noticed it after I buy it. And man, I was so happy. Oh, the seat, I was watching on the videos. Most of the seats have all this part destroyed because they say it's a very poor quality on the leather back then. But uh, this one doesn't look so bad. I'm gonna be cleaning this truck just as I clean the Lexus. When I bought the Lexus, it was so dirty inside. But now it's freaking clean inside. It's very clean. I detailed all that inside. I mean, it was a mess, the Lexus. So here we go. All right. <laughs> up it needs a muffler i guess they, they cut the muffler because maybe this thing was spitting water as you can see those are the pipes right there so, I, so yeah i'm gonna be getting a muffler because honestly i don't like how the big six is sound and uh it's just so fucking loud inside and when I rev it up, it just vibrates, you know, a little bit inside. It's, it's very annoying. I don't like it. But, uh, I mean, engine works. Transmission shape, uh, shifts pretty good. And uh, I'm going to be cleaning all this freaking mess. And uh, the worst thing about this for runner is this is stuck on four high. So I was doing a lot of research. And it's a pretty common thing. So I'm gonna go and try to fix that now. Somebody say bump it on the parking lots, you know, the bumpers. So some guy say he was bumping it there for a while and he got it back to two wheel drive. So I'm gonna go and try to do that. But yeah, I mean, I'm gonna clean this thing. I mean, all the seats are in very good shape. I got some uh, updates I finally have a chance to put this thing on two wheel drive I'm gonna go in four high I don't know if you hear that so that's in four high that's for low we're gonna go back to that's for high and let's go to full uh, two wheel drive so it's working so what i did is i found a video of some guy uh, bypassing the system so it's not fixed yet 
the problem is when you click that four wheel drive button it just screw up everything so you have to buy bypass uh, the system to make the two wheel drive work so i'm pretty sure it's something down there that works like a switch i saw, I saw that on another video so i don't have the socket to remove it and clean it to make it work or i'm probably gonna get a new one i think it's like 20 bucks so i'm gonna buy the socket one of these days and fix it you know because that four wheel drive is very good on the rain so as you can see i'm gonna clean all that freaking mess right there this guy looks like he did some nasty ass mud so and uh, i'm cleaning out this leather uh, i clean this piece right here and that's probably that's what i'm gonna do for today you see already it's misting a little bit it's gonna rain tonight what else what else what else uh, was trying to fix this this thing right here but uh it's missing a plastic plastic some plastic stuff that goes in here on this side it had it it has it so this this side is fine i need the one on this side i'm gonna check online if they sell those or i guess i'm gonna buy the whole thing because all this is messed up looks like these people try to fix it there is a wire that goes in here it's ripped up it's not even plugged into this so i don't know i guess i'm gonna try to find this part and buy it in the future so i decided to stay work working a little more on this truck look at this shit it plates they are full of mud so this guy really got into something very nasty looks like he didn't hurt nothing his kit plates are very good it's just mud but uh like i'd say i'm just gonna clean this thing very good yep all right guys this thing controls some lights or basically they are rock lights or mole lights mole lights those things right there I mean these things are cheap quality i just don't like how the colors look like and i really don't really don't like them so they install these and get power from one of those uh cigarette port they were getting power for that and the cb radio so good lord uh what else and they go all the way back here also they have this wiring relay for the led bar all this is gonna come out what a mess so this was under this fender it was okay let's say it that way but look at the, the, the one on this side zip ties <laughs> or the wind oh, oh my goodness <laughs> I don't know who installed this, but uh, Jesus. All right, guys, quick update. Uh, as you can see, I checked the thing and the oil was very low and very, very dirty. So I did the oil change. Of course, I use the nails, not sponsored by them, but pretty good oil. And uh, this cap was very nasty too. All in here was very, very nasty. So I use some, uh, it's called simple green and soap and I wash it. So it's way better. I still gotta add a couple more quarts of oil. Uh, I need to go to the store. Anyways, the truck is not moving for now until I finish doing all this. I still gotta install the battery. I got some degreaser to clean this engine because it looks like shit and we just keep doing some progress so i didn't show you how clean it was in there i just noticed right now that i started recording but uh i put some uh engine degreaser there simple green and some uh soap and uh, i didn't add water because you know i had the hole right there 
so that's probably why I didn't record and uh, I just put this thing back here uh, it's still moving uh, there is some uh, how they're called I forgot how they're called but uh, they sell them originally from Toyota or Toyota and uh, I'm gonna buy those because I don't like this this moving this wire right here looks like is the uh, overdrive button and the day I was driving it when I bought it it didn't work I was pushing it and it didn't do nothing so when I take all this apart I found this wire just hanging there and I believe this that's what it is so uh, what else I put some glue around this rubber because I noticed it was some you know mud or it was just a little bit somewhere around here and I seal all that with with some glue I don't want nothing inside my calf uh, there's a still a lot of work to do I still gotta work on this radio look at those wire knots everywhere I mean that's some shitty shit I'm sorry but uh, that's what it is look at this shit they cut the RCA's I mean come on guys <laughs> Anyways, this is junky RCA's. I got some Rocco Fosgate stuff that I'm gonna put in this car. What else? Engine. Still got some degreaser there. I still gotta spray some water and put that's the uh, air intake. So yeah, just updates. Clean those right there too. I was trying to fix a little bit of the cables back there I didn't want to go so deep with this they start coming out very easy like look at this shit when I remove the head unit uh, these start coming out out of nothing so uh, this doesn't make me feel safe so this is what I'm doing doing it the right way this right here is not gonna go nowhere most of the wires are fixed or probably all of them so these wires are not gonna go nowhere, no matter what. Yep, we're getting close. Already removed the relay. And uh, there is this wire hanging down here. Already screw one, one of the knots. This is how it looks like on the back. So it's not gonna be a big deal. Also, I'm gonna be installing some LED pots on the factory location. Whoever used to own this vehicle did a lot of shit. Look at that. So all this is gonna be fixed. It's very, very little compared to my 30 inch. I mean, this thing is very light. It's some cheap stuff, but I'm surprised because there is no moisture in here. It's a lot of mud. Usually, most of these cheap LED bars get a lot of moisture. It's probably, let's say, new, maybe a few months old. I don't know, but uh, yeah, this is not gonna work for me. I'm gonna end this video right here, guys. What do you think about my purchase? because it's very hard to find a vehicle like this one on a good condition, especially being 20 plus years old. This one definitely has some very bad uh, conditions inside and out, but I think it was a good deal, whatever I paid for it. So let me know in the comments below what you think about it. So far, I've been doing already some modifications inside and out. I have a new radio, I got an iPad and a iPhone mount. I have a temporary amplifier with a 10 inch sub that I used to have on the uh, Lexus and of course I did a bunch of maintenance pretty common things need a radiator as you can see this one is brown so that's not good I need a timing belt right now my odometer is uh, 230,000 miles so <laughs> yeah definitely in here the filter is already dirty it's been seven months but as you can see the box is clean inside so all this is clean i've been cleaning this freaking engine like crazy especially because 
he need a pulp cover gaskets. I got him brand new inside there from Toyota. I haven't installed him yet, but uh, what I'm gonna do next is the transmission fluid. That's coming next. I put a big ass freaking bar in here. All those videos are coming up on this channel, so please subscribe if you haven't. If you're a Toyota Lexus follower, why not subscribing? Even, you know, deep guys, same thing. We are on the four wheel drive world, so why not? Thanks for watching, guys, and see you in the next video.